concept of rank ring algorithm and basically what will it affect our uh, seo efforts or uh, is it going to be any problem now with the rank ring algorithm of uh, a normal website so basically uh, by reading many articles from different sources uh, i have actually i'm just giving you the conclusion of all that particular articles in a one simple uh, video so you don't need to um, even have provided the resources for you you can uh, go through that resources and understand it in more uh, detailed way but in just an uh, overview of this rank brain algorithm so according to uh, google what is rank brain algorithm exactly it's simple uh, rank brain algorithm is nothing but it's an artificial uh, intelligence system which will uh, learn about the different queries which will learn about the different uh, data which is the, which are being uh, typed by the users and then it tries to understand the data and provide the results back uh, to the users now if, if you uh, think about this you may ask the question then the same thing was actually in the hummingbird algorithm where it takes a query and gives you the answer instantly but see this is not just as hummingbird because the main functionality of the hummingbird was it, it is actually going to give you the answers for those questions or those uh, information which is available uh, in, in the data stores of google or it's available on the public sites for example uh, the difference between a hummingbird and uh, we say rank brain is uh, way it's different like if you take in hummingbird if i ask a question uh, when is the birthday of uh, some xyz person then it this information is publicly available and it can give the data right away now in this we don't require a machine learning system where it has to learn itself no but when you talk about uh, rank brain algorithm this algorithm is a part of the other algorithms which is already there in google like for example if you say it's a part of uh, uh, all the other algorithms like hummingbird and uh, other algorithm updates and all that stuff it's a part now what is the job of uh, rank brain specifically is it's going to interpret it's going to understand some complex queries which are generally not uh, searched by many users so it's try to understand those complex queries and then whatever the results are being produced that are based on its uh, understanding and learning of this rank brain system so it's something like a machine is itself trying to understand the data which is provided by the users and then filtering that particular data okay that's that's an idea now the next point is uh, how it what it does actually if you see what is the use of this is if you just type a query now what's the title of consumer at the highest level of food chain now uh, when we just see this query it, it doesn't make sense uh, at any point anyway or uh, why because this query is having the word what the type what is what's the title of consumer at the highest level of food chain now the problem here is now when we say consumer when as a normal user when you see consumer we think this is related to some uh, uh, you know uh, some buyer or in fact you know when you say the word food chain it looks like uh, you know the person is talking about a consumer who is uh, buying in a food chain that is what generally we may think right but the idea is that this is not really related to what we are talking about if i do this query live in uh, search now we'll see what exactly we are getting okay so now if you go with the option so if i just go with the option yeah so if i just do a search query for this now you see i got some uh, results here and if i just go and in fact amazing part of this is the query is not having the exact matching word right it's not having a matching word but when i open the article number one that's uh, okay now it says consumers are organisms of an ecological food chain that receives energy by consuming other organisms these organisms are formally referred to as uh, heterotrophs which include animals bacteria and fungi now this is actually a, a, a ex, you know a different level a different concept together which means it's not just a matter of you know uh, copy this uh, you know it's not a matter of uh, just uh, selecting the details and getting it back up with the word consumer or with the word food chain this is something related to some scientific data or scientific data so that is where that is where it's going to be very very effective and you know it, maybe there are so many different queries which have a different meaning but as a normal user we may not really understand that but the machine learning is what the rank brain is going to interpret this complex results and it's going to give us the 
details. So now I want to, uh, you know, clarify this point. So is it really important? Can I optimize my website for rank brain algorithm the way we did for hummingbird algorithm by providing some uh, specific answers to the questions and then uh, making it optimized for hummingbird so the answer is uh, as i have gone through the many many uh, different seo professionals and uh, their articles so i can say the answer is no because rank brain is mainly designed for something more complex queries and more long tail queries which has some sort of uh, you know complexity involved like what you see is not what you are actually going to get so that way it's trying to interpret something with the help of this machine learning so uh, as as per uh, my opinion is concerned rank brain algorithm is not going to affect the search results of a normal query for example if someone type uh, say plumbers in hyderabad if someone types uh, say for example um, uh, let's take restaurants in hyderabad so i don't expect i don't uh, expect that google is going to take the machine learning into consideration and then make the changes to these queries that's uh, as of as of now whatever the google has given the information on the various uh, sources it, it it defines that that is not the case for normal queries but it would be used for the complex queries so this is the basic idea about the rank brain algorithm so like in a conclusion so rank brain algorithm is nothing but it's an artificial intelligence algorithm which is going to interpret very complex queries which are not common maybe they are related to science they may be related to uh, some technology they may be related to anything but basically the idea is it will be interpreting something in the back end and then it's going to provide the results uh, dynamically based on the query so this is the basic idea of the rank brain algorithm so hope you have um, uh, liked the video and please share your comments and share your you can actually like the video if you like this presentation as well as you can uh, uh, share our video with your friends and also please don't uh, forget to subscribe to our blog as well as you can also go through some more resources on um, this website which I have just collected from the web so you can go into the details and then you can also uh, visit our website webtrainings.in and, and we as you know we offer professional digital marketing training so you can uh, visit our site webtrainings.in and you can learn uh, professional digital marketing from our institute thank you very